A week from tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We celebrate it in thanks for all the things that we have and we're blessed with. And Thanksgiving should not be pushed out of America's um, traditions. Um, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I got stuck. It went from Halloween in August to basically no Thanksgiving. Jump, right after Halloween, jump into decorating for Christmas. But in our town, there's no decorations anywhere. There's lights, but there's no decorations like there used to be in um, shopping centers, at least on the lamp posts. But anyway, Thanksgiving is a tradition of America, and America only, as far as I know. And that's because of the people, the pilgrims who came over on the Mayflower, and they were seeking uh, religious freedom, and they were not getting it. Uh, they, they were not allowed it. So they sought the new land, and um, the harshness of starting over and if you've ever watched a show like Survivor which is probably one of the only ones you know it wasn't even Survivor I got my TV shows wrong it, it's alone I got really hooked on that Atticus and I actually and um, and it it was kind of a, amusing because people with all the supposed training for being alone and being able to survive in the wilderness could not. Um, except, I guess, the winners of the show. But these people um, and whatever their professions were came to a completely barren, unknown land and were failing um, and dying. And the, the odd thing is, is that with all this talk about division and racism and etc and and what's politically correct and what's not you know Thanksgiving was actually about two different peoples coming together and one of them saw the others uh, in their struggle and came to help and it, even if we're not absolutely certain of yep the absolute details because everybody can interpret that story a thousand different gazillion ways um, it was still about two people two different peoples one from a land across the ocean and, and then the native people and they went ahead and they joined together and they, they saw the, saw the, um, the pilgrims dying and in need and in want, and they came together with a feast. And in, in that feast, with the, the religious freedoms that the pilgrims had, knew who to give thanks to. Not only the people that helped them, but the spirit behind the people in helping them. And that's what was important. That's what they were thankful for. They were thankful for their new land, for religious freedom, and and struggling so hard to have that and then thankful that at least for that period of time um, the natives saw the struggles of another human being and helped out so that I made that an awfully long kind of homeschooling thing but when I when I see that they're trying to um, squeeze families out of homes and and basically at some point not having Thanksgiving is wrong because it is an American tradition. But another tradition I'm going to follow up with is the fact that many years ago I planted three pomegranate trees probably about 15 years ago and a certain person didn't see that the sprinkler system wasn't working, the watering system, and two of my plants died. But there, there's a very um, stout and hearty kind of um, 
pomegranate. You know, I'm not sure it's really a tree. It may be a bush. Who That gives me a lot of pomegranates. But I think it was three Thanksgivings ago. We had, I think it was just the right weather, just the right temperatures, just the right amount of moisture out here. And my pomegranates were gorgeous. Um, bright, bright red, round, huge softball size, if not bigger, leaning towards sugar pumpkin size pomegranates. They were amazing and the taste phenomenal. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So when we have Thanksgiving we go ahead and, and we serve pomegranate juice. And I just thought I would go ahead and share this new tradition that we started since juicing. But what I have here, um, my pomegranates actually turned out pink. They didn't turn the bright, bright red. But on the inside of one that I, I have split, um, the juice looks pretty good. It's, it's been redder than that. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And one of the purposes of me, um, I'm going to flip this around. One of the purposes that I, ha I have of doing this, of course, I had said that I'm vlogging so that um, my grandchildren will know who I really am and also the, the things that I did. And if not them, other people that might be interested in my little telly tubby world. My look. I keep it repeating that. Teletubby land, there were hills and flowers and rabbits running around and there was no um, no strife and, and that's what I want. I want to try to achieve that again in my in my life. Having lived so many years and kind of a constant state of rush and chaos. Um, <laughs> this is like therapy for me if you haven't noticed. Um, so I, I just brought a few of them out. I actually have a huge tub, a tub, a giant tub full of pomegranates and the, these are just five of them and I don't remember how much um, they'll make. but. Again, one of the purposes of my videos is that I I don't want to show expensive things and then have people go, Oh, i got to have what that person has. Uh, it's just so cool. It's so wonderful. And I'm, I'm guilty of that. By the way, I'm drying seeds here. Doing a little seed saving from the pumpkins that I made for the pumpkin pie. Um, so I, I just, I, I want to show things being done as manually as possible and, e and easy and inexpensive. The reason being, I started to say, is that I got, I got really caught up in doing that. I'd see something that from people that I admired watching and cooking and even getting on like a Williams and Sonoma site. And... They have really expensive stuff on Williams and Sonoma. And that, it'd take me forever to, to save for something. But um, I'd buy it. And the truth of the matter is, is like, say a juicer. Juicers are really expensive. And I only remember my mom having a glass thingy like this. This one's plastic. And I probably got it at Walmart. I probably got it several, well, it's been about four or five years I've been doing the pomegranate juice finally. And I have a little strainer. And let me show you my equipment. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is, is that I want to do things manually. So if you see what I'm doing, you're going, oh no, she could have used a juicer. I know. But I don't want to use a juicer. I don't want to have to buy a juicer. As long as I am still able to use my hands, I want to do things with my hands. And manually is fine and it's inexpensive too because that's a couple of bucks and that's like a dollar and 
I got this actually at, at a yard sale a long time ago. Um, I don't remember where I got this, but I use it. And then I, I, I got these very inexpensive funnels. I actually got a set of two. And then the most expensive thing that I have here that's actually reusable are these bottles and they came from a store called Bevmo and they were probably about three or four dollars each but again I've already used them uh, for a few years so it's it, it's down to now they were they cost me a dollar a year so I'm going to use these bottles and and we don't drink wine um, it actually gives me a headache and it doesn't matter what color it is and I don't drink alcohol completely and what I'm trying to say is, is that I will attempt to and then I discovered um, it makes me amped it does the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do like make you like Whoa, and silly and and probably more funny than you usually are in real life but um, it, it amps my heart and I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack and die and I can't stand the feeling so I don't, I, I don't drink alcohol if I do it's very very moderate I happen to like margaritas and an occasional beer but um, I like the taste especially at uh, there's a restaurant out here that every month they would have a new margarita and that was fun I like the salt so <laughs> I like the taste of the margarita especially when it's sweet and fruity so this is supposed to be um, a pomegranate juicing video because we will drink pomegranate juice at Thanksgiving and it's almost Thanksgiving so I need to start juicing but I wanted you to see that you can use inexpensive things this is a juicer this does come apart so I will try to get most of the juice down to the bottom and then I'm going to sift it, put it in here and then use the funnel and fill up the bottle. So I'm just going to go through the process of it and then Atticus can decide how much he wants to speed up or, or edit out. Alright, I'll be back. That sounded really weird. I'll be back. That's better. Okay, so um, I had made a, a really big mess and I was starting to clean it up and I'm going, no, wait a minute, they need to know that this is a messy job. Um, I calculated that I need maybe one more pomegranate to, to fill up a bottle, one bottle and it took me 10 pomegranates to make it if that one is going to be sufficient, this one here. Um, I also remembered while I was making this that um, I used to make pomegranate um, pulp bowls for my chickens. So for the next four days or so, I, used, I took all the pulp after you squeeze the seeds and then I put them into these cups and the chickens really like it so so I'm just going to go through the process of the one pomegranate let's see okay so I'm going to cut it and that scared me this scares me too let's not forget I'm not that strong okay and then what I do, I'm going to bring you closer. I go ahead and then I squeeze out on the paper towel because I don't want to hurt my sink. <laughs> this one's actually falling apart. Great. And you do this until your wrist feels like it's going to break off of your arm and your hand. 
this one is not ripe enough for me. Let me get the other half. It's always the last one that you want to do for the camera that gives you the hard time. Because this is not juicy, this isn't doing anything. And this is why people are going, you gotta get a juicer. It was one year I think I was able to when I had the three plants I managed to get I think ten bottles and I gave them a few to my our friends and they had it for Thanksgiving and I've had it for Thanksgiving anyway that's what I use the spoon for again this this is a dry pomegranate then what I do is I take the juice that's in this nifty thing and I think you get it at Walmart. I hope they still have it. And I, I pour it through a strainer and then I pour the liquid into the bottle. And I'm thinking I've done enough for today. I might go out and get one more. But this is the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely pomegranates. Probably should have done it for the camera. So I had poured it in. It wasn't really enough. I'm going to go get another one. And then has this really nifty rubber cap. You know, this one's plastic. They have, they're ceramic ones. Put it on, and then there's another latch here that you push down. I did it with one hand. So there's pomegranate. It's not wine. It's pomegranate juice. And we have it at Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving again. God bless. As the camera falls. <laughs>